they think deep thoughts and with no more brains than you have. Welcome to Very Bad Wizards. I'm Tamler Summers from the University of Houston. Dave, today we're going to tackle a controversial subject involving race that many people would rather just avoid. Does this mean we're making a bid to join the intellectual dark web? <laughs> is is that the criterion? <laughs> the, talking about race? I thought the criterion was having fancy pictures taken of you kind of in the dark. That's the like, <laughs> so, like so every person who has that gets to be part of the intellectual dark web? <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> That's a necessary, but I don't think it's a sufficient. It's not sufficient. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're too liberal to to be part of the intellect. Which the intellectual dark web just appears to be people who, on the face of it, are liberal but turn conservative, or maybe just conservatives who liberals hear about, <laughs> but and, but who have been the victim of some overreaction by the left. Oh, yeah. I think, and except for Joe Rogan, is I don't think anybody's overreacted. <laughs> It's true. They reacted. Is just he part of the intellectual the, dark web? Yeah, he was part. He he had a dark picture. I so we need some conceptual analysis of the intellectual dark web. Clearly, for those, yeah. Why don't you say what it is? Well, it was a New York Times magazine article written by Barry Weiss um, that had a lot of photos of people like Sam Harris. And my stepmother, Christina Hoff Summers, and um, I guess Joe Rogan. I, that shows how far I read into the essay. Not that far. Uh, I think Dave <laughs> Rubin was another one. Um, Maybe the and the, uh, who else was part of it? Brett Weinstein. Yeah, Brett Weinstein, the Evergreen Street. He's <laughs> the, he's had quite a couple years. <laughs> in this life. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, like that's. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Like, what does Nicholas Christakis see Brett Weinstein and be like, "Hey, why the hell didn't this happen to me?" <laughs> well, Nick Christakis actually is doing research. It's still, you know, he's just like, <laughs> "Uh oh, are you shitting on Brett Weinstein?" I don't know what he does. The IDW but, but, people will come after you. I don't understand the metaphor anyway. The dark web is like where you go to find kitty porn and like you know drugs. Yeah, like believe me, I'm familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that the intellectual dark web is where you go to find dangerous ideas. Do you think that liberals use uh, porn mode on their browser whenever they navigate to Quillette? <laughs> is there a browser that just honestly calls it porn mode? Since there's no other reason think, you would I ever so, but porn mode, <laughs> private browsing. Uh, uh, that would be hilarious if you know your spouse comes home and they're like waiting they're sitting at the table and you're like what they're like i checked your browser history what are you talking about really reason.com really <laughs> like, <laughs> it was just well we haven't was, had many debates in the house recently you know we used to yeah. we used to we used to get and into then what? controversial discussions all the time and now we like never do we just same routine every night <laughs> So excuse me if every once in a while I want to find something I'm not getting at home. <laughs> Maybe race is related to IQ. Uh, have, you, have we talked about that in 10 years? I'm too tired. <laughs> See, this is what you always say. You're too tired, you know? It's a good thing these websites exist because or else I would just have to go somewhere else. So you should be thankful I'm staying. <laughs> I would have to pay for my challenging ideas. Oh, God. <laughs> always, always erase your internet browsing history. <laughs> well, you don't need to anymore. But not, yeah, you don't need to anymore. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Although it's suspicious if it's too clean. So you have to like toss in, you know, some. <laughs> <laughs> That's only if uh, your wife or husband or girlfriend or boyfriend check it, checks your browser is. <laughs> that's true. Hopefully you're at a oh, point in the relationship I've never, where that's not happening. I've never had trust. <laughs> I've never. Uh, uh, well, so, I, I, so what yeah. we are going to talk about is the implicit association test. We were going to do personal implicit as opposed to explicit bias. Yeah, no, that's good. That's exactly right. Before we get there, do we have, do we have anything more to say about the intellectual dark web? I love my stepmother. I'm glad she's getting some attention. I didn't read the whole article, though. So, <laughs> uh, 
uh, I don't know. People say it's it was more nuanced than what you might think of an article like that if you uh, hear about it. And I don't I, know if that's true or not, but I hope that it is. My my only feelings are uh, that the name is corny. <laughs> yes. It is uh, a little <laughs> self-congratulatory in a somewhat cringy kind of way, but yeah, you know, it gives me the corny chills. Is that, that's the emotion I like to call it. Well, um, and also the thing that I don't like about it is I I don't like when people who have fairly mainstream views that are being celebrated by a large percentage of the population. <laughs> Uh, you know, it has this kind of like we're mavericks kind of feel to it. And, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, Jordan Peterson was one of them. Jordan yeah. Peterson, right? And I yeah. think that you know maybe they they are more willing to go against the grain on certain issues than other people. Um, you know, Sam Harris is probably more willing to go against the grain than certain people on on the left <laughs> on certain issues. But I think it it would. I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if it's fair. To, I, it doesn't strike. It strikes me that these aren't people with revolutionary or radical ideas. And well, I mean, like, uh, you know, th- like on that list are people with <clears throat> arguably the top podcast in the in the nation. Um, one of the best selling books, if not the best selling book of the year. Um, it's it's a little hard. <laughs> to Is this Jordan put them in. Peterson? Yeah, yeah, his his twelve rules. But this is why maybe the article may address the complexity of that, and it's really just the name that we would be complaining about. <laughs> that's why. That's why it was my only comment. <laughs> <laughs> I really have no nothing else to say. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> but it's save your angry tweets and emails. Um, we, I think they could just. I think that you need to have a fancy picture in the dark. Yeah. And you have to believe that the gender wage gap isn't nearly as big as people say it is. <laughs> Those two beliefs, <laughs> I think, capture everybody on that list. <laughs> That's probably true. Yes. All right. I saw that Yoel just got online for Skype. Either he's angling to come on again.